It's a matter of absolute principle. You shouldn't make money for mental health. And that's, it is a matter of principle. It's an absolute matter of principle. There's that that's been underused and we could do more of it. And that would clear, you know, 230,000 people off the waiting year. So list more use of the year. private sector in the NHS under Labour? Yes. What about university Starting tuition Labor. fees then? Will you remain committed to scrapping them in They're your first term? They're all pledges, Andrew. So the answer to these questions is yes. So university tuition fees being scrapped will be in a Starmer manifesto? Yes, that's why it's the a next pledge. election. I think we are going to set out a fairer solution, and Justin, so... But, know, but, but it, uh, won't be the, it won't be the abandoning of tuition fees, will it? Well, we are likely to move on from that um, commitment. We have to make the case for freedom of movement. We don't want open borders. Um, freedom of movement has gone and it's not coming back. To pay tribute to Jeremy Corbyn, who's a friend as well as a colleague. Is so, he a friend? Was he a friend? No, I mean, I think the decision was by the Home Secretary was the wrong decision, and I think it was a rushed decision. I think the court decision yesterday is the right decision. So is it a pledge that these industries will be in your manifesto for nationalisation? Yes, it is. You do stand by your pledge yeah. to support common ownership of rail, mail, energy and water. We've yeah. got to be practical. That was a very specific pledge, however, which has now gone. Given that you've ditched policies such as scrapping tuition fees and nationalising energy companies, the policies that you won the Labour leadership on, why should anyone believe anything you say anyway? If you, if you can't keep your promises, don't make them in the first place.